Hello, Microsoft partners. My name is Justin Slagle, and I am the Partner Channel Development Manager for the Southwest US for small business at Microsoft. And I've had a lot of questions from my partners on how to create a bot in Azure. I created a Slagle bot to help me scale myself and help answer a bunch of questions that uh, really were just bogging me down. A lot of questions that were uh, needed to be answered by the partners, and I, I completely get that. But a lot of the questions were the same questions over and over. So what I did was try to virtualize myself, create a bot framework, uh, and give partners a couple different ways that they can engage with the bot so they can get the answers that they need, but at the same time help free me up to be able to do some more productive things and help make our business a little stronger. So I want to walk you through exactly how to create a bot. Uh, hopefully I can get through this in less than 10 minutes and show you guys exactly how easy this is. But hopefully this will also get your wheels spinning on how you could potentially take a service like this to your customers, help free them up to be able to do some additional things, and then you can make some monthly recurring revenue off of uh, setting this up and managing it for them. So let's get started. So where you're going to go first is a website. It's qnamaker.ai, but make sure you put in HTTPS. I've, I've uh, seen a couple of partners who are struggling getting to it. Make sure, make sure you put HTTPS colon slash slash qnamaker.ai. Now, once you're here, you have to sign into the site using your Microsoft Live ID. And, uh, and then what you'll do is you'll create a new service. Now, when you come into the new service, let's just go ahead and give our bot a name. So I'm going to call this the Slago Partner Bot. And then I can I can give it a couple of URLs of pages that already have an FAQ that are going to train the knowledge base of my bot. So I've gone in and I've I've uh, preloaded here a couple of uh, sites that have like Office 365 frequently asked questions. Let's put in uh, this Windows 10 frequently asked question, and then maybe we'll put in a volume licensing frequently asked question. And I think you guys get the idea here. Let me also put in an Azure. Now, on top of this, I also have a frequently asked document uh, or a document that I created uh, that is one that um, I, I created over over the years of just partners asking some very similar questions. So I call it the PCM FAQ. So I put this in there and then I'm just going to click create. Now, it's going to take less than a minute here for uh, the bot framework uh, to compile this information. Usually it takes 30 seconds or so. So we'll give it a few minutes here and uh, it's going to put everything together in a question and answer type format. And we'll be able to look at our knowledge base and we'll be able to add to it. So one thing to, uh, to remember is that these bots can be super powerful, but it's only as knowledgeable as what you put in. So here are the things that it's already pulled in for us. So first thing, it, it always knows hi and hello. Uh, so on the left is our question, on the right is the answer. And if we look at, uh, so here are the questions from the source. This is the Office 365 page. If I go over here and look at Office 365, the first question is, what's the difference between Office 365 subscription plans and a one-time purchase? And it says, with Office 365 subscription plan, you get fully installed applications. Over here, same thing. What's the difference? And with the subscription plan, you get the fully installed uh, Office applications. So we can go down through and we can look at all the questions that it pulled in. And then when we get to the end of this, we'll see that it went to the second page. So here is the Windows 10 page, all the frequently asked questions about Windows 10. And then let me scroll down. So we'll, we'll also have a page for Azure. And then at the bottom, we should have our page right about here. Let's see. So this is, uh, this is our Azure support page keep going down. And then here I have my PCDM FAQ doc. So all of these have been preloaded in. And what I need to do at this point is uh, I can go in and I can test, make sure my bot works. So I can say hi, and it's going to say hello. And I can say, uh, what is Office 365? And it's going to give me a response. And it says Office 365 University. Now, this is not necessarily the answer I'm looking for. So on the left-hand side here, I can say none of the above. To uh, So when it goes back into the knowledge base, I can change that. Maybe I want to say what is the current incentive plan. And here it's going to give me Microsoft offers customers the ability to run non-Microsoft technology. So that's not the right answer either. 
So I'm, I'm seeing that, okay, there's a couple of additional things that I need to add in. Now, maybe I ask it something that I know is in here. So what is the difference in Office 365 and Office? Let's see what it says. Okay, again, wrong answer. So what was that question? What's the difference between Office 365 and one-time purchase? So let's just copy this. Get the question, and the answer should be exactly the same answer. So with Office 365 plans, you get fully installed applications. So uh, so we can go through and we can we can train our bot. Now there there could be you know some other things in here. Let's go to the hi and hello as an example. So here it says hi and hello. So maybe there's other ways that we can say hi, maybe hola. So on the right-hand side, I can give it different ways that people might interact. How's it going? How are you? And so forth. So when I do this, now I'm going to save and retrain my bot to exactly what was uh, put into the test. Give this just a second. And then what will happen is it'll put it into the knowledge base. Now, there were a couple of the questions that you saw that it said no good match found in the knowledge base. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the knowledge base. and We're going to actually answer those. So now we're ready to go. I go back in. So here you can see originally it just said, hi, how are you? And uh, how's it going? So all of those I, I put in different ways that it could say hello. Now, remember, it's what was Office 365? And it said no good match found. So now what I can do is I can actually go in here. Office 365 is the uh, core product of Microsoft's cloud. So I, I, I just make up whatever I'm going to do here. I can put something in. Incentives can be found on HTTP. Uh, SMB incentives. So I can just put in the answers here. Uh, and then if I want, let's say I just want to delete this particular question. So I can just delete this. And so now I've got a knowledge base. And so what I'm going to do is uh, if I'm just going to save and retrain, it's going to take the knowledge base and take the updates that I put in, and it's going to be ready to publish. Now, at any point, if I want to come back, if I go into settings here, you can see behind the, the bar here. I can put in more URLs. I can put in more files. I can put in uh, more questions one by one, however I'd like to do that. So now it's ready to publish. So I go over to publish and it says, okay, here are all the, the, the current questions that are in draft. Here are all the question and answers that are, they've been saved. And now I just need to publish it. So I click publish. Now all of a sudden my bot is, the knowledge base is there. So now what I have to do is I have to go over into Azure. So I go into portal.azure.com. I'm going to add something new. When I go into new, I go into intelligence and analytics. And then I go to the bot service uh, preview. So in the bot service preview, I'm going to call this the Slagle partner bot. A Slagle partner bot is available. And do it under my subscription, Slagle partner bot for the resource group. And I'll put it in the West US. I'll pin this to my dashboard. I'm going to create. Now, this will take just a couple seconds for it to create uh, the server for me. And here it, here it comes. <clears throat> so it's deploying the bot, bot service preview. And it's going to take us just a few minutes to go through the entire setup. Uh, but the, 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 this is one of the longer processes, which is probably about, I don't know, 60 to 90 seconds. So we're not going to have to wait too long. Now, uh, one of the things that we'll have to go back and do is, is basically we, we've We've created the knowledge base. Now we just have to connect the Azure subscription to that knowledge base. So here we have to create an app ID. So this is pretty simple. So I'll sign in with my live ID. And then uh, it's automatically going to generate the app ID and password for me. So we'll give it a second here. So here's my app ID. I'm going to copy this and put it where it says to put the app ID. Go back to the other screen. I'm going to generate an app password. Here's my app password. I'm going to put the app password in. Now I'm going to keep it at C sharp. And the, the bot that I'm going to use is the question and answer bot. So very easy. So we're good to go here. Now it's going to ask, OK, so if you're using the question and answer, which knowledge base? Well, I'm going to use the Slagle partner bot. So that's the one I already created. And so I'm going to click OK. 
And now it's going to connect the Azure subscription back to the Q&A maker page, the knowledge, the knowledge base that we had created there. So this will take just a couple of minutes for the, um, for the bot to uh, connect the two, but uh, we're almost ready to roll. Now I'll, I'll give you guys some other insights as, as we're waiting for this. Once the service is up and running, we have several different ways that we can engage with the bot. So we can engage through Skype. It's Skype personal, not Skype for business. So I'm looking forward to uh, when we can engage with Skype for business. Uh, you can do it through Microsoft Teams. You can engage through Slack. You can engage through Facebook Messenger, um, Kick. Uh, you can put this on a website. So they give you the code to put it up on a website to have a chat service there. Uh, you can also do it through email. So all of these things are pretty easy to set up uh, once the bot is up and running. And I'll, I'll give you a, a quick example of how those work once we uh, once we get through this. So, uh, we'll, so we'll give this another second, but let's let's take a look. I'll show you guys how the Slagle bot works. This is the one that I developed for myself. So, with uh, with the Slagle bot, uh, let me pull over personal here. So, on the Slagle bot, I can uh, I can I can engage. I can just ask it any type of question that I want. So, I can say, what are the current Microsoft incentives? And it will uh, come back with an answer. And so here I, I'm just uh, just engaging with the bot just as a as a regular user through a chat interface. So I can find the current current incentives, and here they are. If I say what is Office 365, should come back and tell me exactly. There you go. Office 365 re refers to a subscription plan. So here's the entire dialogue. Uh, so I can ask it um, uh, technical questions. I can ask it support questions, uh, whatever, however I like. Uh, another way to engage with the bot um, is, let me go over to um, email, actually. Let me pull up a, an email here. So now, one thing that I, I can think guys about email is, so I can hear all over this email. The, when you do an email, you want to make sure that your email is completely blank with the exception of your question. So here, I, uh, my bot is set up at bot at slagobot.com. And it doesn't matter if you put a subject in there, but we'll just put question. And we can say, uh, what is Azure? Or let's, let's do this. Um, what is the best Azure support plan? And so then I can email Slagobot. Slagobot will email me back and just a, another bit here. So while we're waiting for Slagobot to email back, which usually takes about 30 seconds or so, let's go over, let's go back over to um, Slagobot, a Slagobot partner bot that we started working with Azure. So now our service is up and running. If I go over to channels, I can see that it's automatically set up for Skype and set up for web, web chat. Now, if I want to add it to Skype, all I do is just click add to Skype. It's going to pull up another window here. And in this window, it says contacts. I click add contacts, and it's automatically going to be up and running for me in Skype. And I can send out the uh, the same link to add this bot to. So here's the the link if I want to add. If I want to send this out for somebody, but the the Slagel partner bot is now in Skype. I can uh, I I can ask it uh, anything that I like. So uh, one of the questions was, what is the difference? in Office 365 and Office on-premises. And here it should give us that, should give us that answer. Uh, so here we go. So same, same question that we had uh, programmed in that we did the test for, everything's up and running and working quickly. So now let's go back. Uh, let's say that we want to, uh, so I mentioned you can do Facebook Messenger, you can do GroupMe, you can do Kick, you can do Teams, Slack, Telegram, Twilio. So our bot is actually all set up and ready to go. It's uh, fully functional. You just saw it working on on um, on Skype just a second there. Uh, if I go over to Facebook, I'll just give you guys. Um, I'm not gonna not going to put um, put the bot fully up on on Facebook this particular one. But let's go and let's let's interact with this Lego bot here on Facebook. So on Facebook. You have to create a page, and so here I've created the Slagobot page, and the and the the uh, the Slagobot is available to talk. So here, if we just chat with Slagobot, we can ask it any question that we'd like. So again, it's it's all programmed in. So 
uh, let's say, who is my technical contact. And this legal bot will respond through Facebook and say, what area are you in? I'm in the Southwest. And it's going to tell me that my technical contact, Garrett Bundy, and there's Garrett's email address. So hopefully you guys have gotten a, a, a pretty easy sense of how, how you guys can create a bot. Uh, Q&A maker.ai, make sure you do HTTPS. You build out your knowledge base. Once you build out your knowledge base, you set it up in Azure, and you should be off and running. If you guys have any questions, I'll put up my email address on, on the screen here. But uh, I look forward to working with you guys, and let me know if you guys create some bots and do something special. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.